Hi everyone, you missed class. I hope you had a great time at Kairos or if you're sick, you're getting better. In class, we talked about the biggest concept in marine biology. If this thing that we talk about today doesn't happen, there is no marine biology. It's the biggest concept of the whole year. Uh, we're talking about vertical mixing and the first type of vertical mixing that we're gonna talk about is called winter upwelling. Now, in class, we built it up a lot more than what I'm going to do right now, but hopefully we can kind of get an idea about what happens. See, what we did is we talked about the Puget Sound, and we kind of walked through the temperatures of the Puget Sound as we uh, start off at the surface and go all the way down at the bottom. We said that at the top, uh, it's about 52 degrees right here. I mean, it's cold, but it's 52 degrees, it's not freezing. And the reason why it's 52 degrees is that it's being hit by this much light. And this much light is gonna warm it up to 52 degrees. Okay, I buy that. Then we went to like one foot below that. Well, one foot below that, there's gonna be a little bit less light hitting it. And because there's a little bit less light hitting it, it's gonna be a little bit colder. It's gonna be like 51 degrees. Like we said, there's just gonna be a little bit less light. Oh, I think you see the pattern that we're gonna do. We're gonna keep on walking down the wad though with the, the, the depth, and it's gonna get a little bit less light, a little bit less light, a little bit less light, and each time it's gonna get a little bit colder, a little bit colder, a little bit colder. It's gonna go like to 50 degrees. It's gonna go like to 49 degrees. It's gonna to go to 48 degrees. It's gonna to go to 47 degrees. It's gonna to go to 46 degrees. It's gonna to get to 45 degrees, and each time it's getting a little bit less light, a little bit less light, a little bit less light, a little bit less light. Man, that 45 degree light, it's getting just enough light, just enough light for some photosynthesis to happen. Underneath that, oh, it's a smidgen amount of light. I mean, just a smidgen amount of light. And because there's just a smidgen amount of light on the water, it changes dramatically. It goes from like 45 degrees and it'll jump all the way down to 42 degrees. Then what we did is we took a dotted line and we went like this. This area where the temperature changes dramatically is called the thermocline. Divers say when they're diving down, they can actually feel the thermocline. They're diving down, they're diving down, they're diving down. Whoa, all of a sudden they hit some cold water. And if they take their hand right here at this uh, thermocline, and then they go up, oh, it's a little bit warmer. Ah, it's much colder. So we label that the thermocline. Then what we labeled is this area up here. This area up here that has enough light where photosynthesis could happen it's called the photic zone. We're building up to it. We're talking about the biggest concept of marine biology. It's huge. This water has got colder and colder and colder because there's less and less and less light hitting it. Now, this 42 degree water is being warmed up by just a smidgen, just a smidgen amount of light. The water underneath that has no light. I mean, if this is being warmed up by just a smidgen amount of light, if you take that, uh, that light away, the water below that is just gonna be a smidgen colder. So it's gonna be like 41 degrees. This 41 degree water has no light on it. The water underneath it, it also has no light on it. So what's the temperature? Got it, it's 41 degrees. In fact, here, all the way down to the bottom, it's 41 degrees. All right, this is the water temperature of the Puget Sound. Does it make sense a little bit? Good. The biggest concept of marine biology, it happened last night. Let's walk through why it happened last night. Last night, how cold did it get? It did. It got down to 39 degrees. 
So what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna go the air temperature, 39 degrees. Because the air was 39 degrees, what happened to the water temperature up at the top? It was touching the 39 degree air. Yeah, it did get colder. How cold did it get? It did. It got down to the same temperature as the air. It got to 39 degrees. Good. Now, what about this 51 degree water? It wasn't touching that 39 degree air. Yeah, you're right. So it didn't get as cold. Maybe it got a little bit colder. Maybe it got down to like 48. Now, this 50 degree water, it was not even close to that 39 degree air. So you're right, it stayed 50 degrees. In fact, all these temperatures are going to stay the same. I mean, all these temperatures are staying the same. The biggest concept of marine biology, and it happened last night, what happened? Well, because it got cold, it got to 39 degrees. Because it got to 39 degrees, this top water got to 39 degrees. Now we learned something the other day. The relationship between temperature and density. The colder the water is, the closer the molecules are. And because the water molecules are close, what happens to the density? Yes, the density increases. Now, if you think about density and weight, yes, this 39 degree water got so dense, so heavy, that it started to sink. How far did it sink? Yeah, it's uh, more dense than the 50, 49, 48, 45, 42. <gasps> 39 is more dense than, than 50, 41. So it sank all the way to the bottom. It's the biggest concept in marine biology. It's huge. But why is it huge? Why is it so big that this top water sinks all the way down to the bottom? Well, you gotta think about, you gotta think about, you gotta think about a fish. What does the fish do twice a day? Yeah, they do. Twice a day, they go poop. How many fish are in the ocean? A whole lot. A whale swims by. What does the whale do? Yeah, it goes poop. Down at the bottom of the uh, Puget Sound or the ocean, there's a big, thick layer of marine poop. And what happened last night that makes it so important is the top layer of water sank down to the bottom. And when it went down to the bottom, it mucked up the poop in the bottom. Now, does it make sense that if you take water to the bottom, it's going to push something up to the top? And what it does is it pushes all this marine poop up to the top. It's the biggest concept of marine biology, and it happened last night. Because the top water got so cold, colder than the bottom, the top water sank down to the bottom, and it mucked up this poop. And it brought all this marine poop up to the top. Why? Why is this the biggest concept in marine biology? Well, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about my flowers this year. How am I going to have such great flowers? Because I am, in a couple weeks, I'm going to go to the zoo. And when I go to the zoo, I'm going to buy some zoo some zebra crap. I'm going to get some giraffe crap. I'm going to get all this crap. Because all this crap are great nutrients for plants, for algae, for the photic zone. So what happened last night is the top layer of water sank down to the bottom and it brought this marine poop up to the top. And up here at the top, there's gonna to be a lot of nutrients for algae to grow. It's huge. It's the biggest concept in marine biology because algae starts the food chain. Without algae, there is no marine biology. Thank goodness it happened last night. Do you know another reason why it's important? As up here in the photic zone, oxygen is made. And this morning, the octopus that lived down here at the bottom are really, really happy because this oxygen was brought down to the octopus. We'll write that down a little bit later. In class, we talked about, well, this is huge. This happened last night. And then we talked about like, where did it not happen last night? And we thought about the world. And we thought about a place in the world that did not get cold last night. And we came up with it. We said like these parts right out here where it's always really, really, really warm. 
Like Hawaii. It probably didn't happen in Hawaii last night. It's got to get colder in the air than the water temperature at the bottom for this to happen. I've got to end this video and start a new one.